Well, today is like the 20th of May or 21st of May or 30th of May or something. So what you're about to see is a little home surgical procedure that I'm going to do on this box turtle. And soon as my lovely assistant is here to assist me and hold the phone, we're going to do... I'm going to show people what... Oh boy, a lot of people aren't going to like this, but it's something that has to be done. So what's going on here? Let me try to get her out of her shell. i got to get her head out. If you see this here, that's a... See the bulge? This? That's it. That's an inner ear infection. Turtles don't have a ears per se, but if this gets blocked up, this gets pussy, it interferes with their jaw opening and closing so they can't eat properly. Now, if you'd go to the vet, this I don't know how much this is going to cost you, but this does happen to turtles from time to time, particularly box turtles. It has to do with the humidity. It has to do with uh, air temperature. There's outside uh, things going on. So what I got here is some peroxide. In here, some Q-tips. Uh, I got a surgical scalpel, which I have sterilized. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this peroxide. Careful not to get her in her ear, so you so you uh, tip her head up. And you just put a little bit on there. I already got some in this little thing here. And I'm going to make a little slice. There's no anesthetic. There's nothing. Sorry, folks, but it's just the way it is. All right, and then I'll squeeze it out. Might have to make it a little bigger. This usually will heal up relatively quickly. And then I'll take one of these. There we go. Reptiles and birds get this uh, cottage cheese type pus. Kind of want to make sure you get all of it. I've had them where they're worse than this, but generally speaking. There. There we go, it's all out. And what I'll do here is I'll pull her head out again. So that's the tricky part, getting her head out. See it's all it's pretty much gone. I actually like to make it bleed a little bit in case I can uh, to kind of flush it out a little bit. So, but uh, and you can barely see the little incision. That'll seal itself up. I've had people scream at me for not using anesthesia with that, but you know what? It doesn't work well with reptiles. You just don't understand. People don't understand. So, that should be it. Let's see, I'll take a clean end of this peroxide. And once again, I'll put it, I'll put it in there. Keep it away from her eyes. Alright, 
That's uh, kind of how you do it. I've been wanting to do that for a long time, but look at the nasty stuff there. And I've had them worse than this in the past. but And then what I'll do is I'll check in about a week later, and sometimes it'll fill up again, and I just I'll open it up and express it again after that. It's usually good. So uh, this was a rescue. If you notice, sir, she's in much better shape than when I first got her. But, uh, so she's in, this is an eastern box turtle. Don't keep these as pets. If you can't keep them outside and can't have an enclosure for them outside, do not keep them. Don't keep a, I don't care what anybody says. These animals need to have natural sunlight. They need to be able to forage for themselves. Um, I, yeah, I do feed them. Uh, but they also get to forage naturally and live as much of a natural life as they possibly can. If you find them in the wild, leave them alone. Do not bring them home as pets. They really do not make good pets. So, I work with somebody who uh, does some rescuing of these these poor animals. And when I get them, they're usually in really, really bad shape. So, okay. I hope that was fun and educational. Till next time.